everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am doing Fire Food Fridays today and today we are going to cook a fresh piece of coho salmon. Now how I like to prepare my salmon, I have several different ways that I like to prepare my salmon. Sometimes I like to make it jerk, um, sometimes I like to do a lemon pepper type of thing and sometimes I like to do it just uh, with grilled peppers so that's just different ways that you can do it today however I'm not going to do jerk because I just did jerk chicken so I am going to do a lemon pepper salmon and I'm going to pair that tonight you know I'm momming all the time yes baby okay so I'm going to pair that with some fresh spinach and some jasmine rice and I believe this is going to be a very simple easy to put together and a healthy meal that you can make and prepare in 15 minutes in your kitchen and that's the goal of it to get you a nice healthy meal something that doesn't take a whole lot of prep time that you can even possibly just throw in the oven or you can fit everyone has their go-to meal whether if it be spaghetti if it is uh, hot dogs just whatever it is some people like ramen um, but I really do enjoy cooking and everyone always keeps asking me to share my recipes and I am dropping my recipe book finally I said you know what I'm gonna motivate myself and I'm gonna get it done and I have been adding all of the different recipes I have trying I'm trying my very best to be adequate with uh, measuring because I'm not a measurer. I am a flick of the wrist type of person. I've been cooking since I was eight, nine years old. Um, and it's just something that I really love to do. I cook on all of the holidays. I love to make people happy. Food is just, it's, it's a universal language. It's bigger than music to me. So let's get ready. A few things that you will need. I always have my knife set right here. So you're gonna need a knife, you're gonna need your scissors. You want to set everything up before you get prepared. You want to get your peppers. I have my mini sweet peppers. Those consist of red, yellow, and orange peppers. You can throw in some green peppers if you like that as well. And a red onion. I'm not doing yellow onions uh, today because I really like how the red onions not only mix in with the food, but they bring out a way better flavor to me. I just, I just love red onions. I can eat them in my salad. I can eat them in uh, just about everything. I don't think it's nothing that I can't eat onions in. So, I'm gonna open up this salmon and to get it prepared, I've already prepared the oven at a 375 degree temperature and I'm letting that prepare. So let's go ahead and get this prepped on so you want to open this, get out your piece of fish, make sure all your ends is open, and you want to get your pan. And you clean it. That would be the first thing you do. You have to clean it. I have a nice full piece of aluminum foil. You know you always cook on the insulated side. If you cook on the shiny side, it will make your food more crispier. And it will dry it out. That's how you keep it. You keep your food fresher by keeping it in there. So me personally, I love my Pyrex dishes. I'm going to use my Pyrex today. Going on rinsing that, and I'm about to clean the fish. Okay. Fresh and clean. I'm just going to sit this over to the side while I get all of my seasonings together and all of my veggies chopped up. So, if you are familiar with Badia, whichever flavor is best for you, spicy, however, 
You gotta have some Old Bay. If you are making any type of fish, you gotta throw in a little bit of Old Bay. We have our garlic powder, our onion powder, garlic salt, and of course, for the main flavoring, the lemon pepper seasoning. I also prefer to use Sicilian lemon juice. It gives me a more of a tart taste that I really, really, really like when I'm doing the lemon pepper. So this will be your first ingredient. You just pretty much douse. Just get you a nice coating of lemon juice on your salmon. And then you're good with that. Butter. I use salted butter. You don't have to use salted butter. You can use any type of butter that you would like. This is a remainder piece that I had. So I'm going to just go ahead and use this whole little block. I'm going to chop it up into a few little slices. And I'm just going to place it on my salmon. So, as this is, this will get it nice and buttery as it's cooking. And it keep it from drying out as well. And it also creates a good little buttery base that you may want to put on your rice when you are finished preparing everything. So as I do that, the next thing I do is I chop all of my vegetables. Let's see if I can reposition it. There we go. So you see we have our salmon right here. Right now I am cutting the onion. I like to leave my semi-whole. I cut up some of them. Because I like to eat my onions with the actual rice and with the spinach. Like I like a, a whole handful of meal type of thing going on. So those can stay like that. Let's see, slice off another little piece of this onion. Make sure you take off the peel. And then, now this one can just be small and chopped. So it can go through the sauce and really get under the salmon. So then I take this, the chop, and I place it under the salmon. And that is that. You want to continue this process with all of your pepper. Take your red. I like to do circles until we get to the top. Our yellow one. Do another yellow one. Okay, so now that these are chopped, I just rinse these off, and then I'm just going to add them to my salmon as well. Okay, please excuse my princess and all of her noise making. Okay, now because I love these red onions so much, I am just going to chop off another little piece off of this onion and just add a little bit more red onion. And you take that and just put it on there. It's a big piece of salmon. Never know if you're going to have some company later, and you might want to share with someone. You know sharing is caring. So here's your lime. I always take off 
the back piece of the line, and then I give a little extra squeeze onto my salmon and my veggies. Take another slice, put the other half away, and do it again. Now we got some lemon lime juices going on there with all of the peppers. Now you are ready to do all of your seasonings. So like I said, I don't really do measuring, so I could say maybe one or two shakes. You just do a little bit of this. It's also about the order that you do it in too. I always start with my badia, and you always end with the actual flavor that you want which is going to be my lemon pepper. So as I go down with garlic, garlic pepper, garlic salt, I get my obey. Obey, you got to shake that a little hard so that comes out a little bit slower. So yeah, you go ahead and get that. Then it's on to the lemon pepper seasoning. Lemon pepper seasoning, let's go. Some people, when they look at my food, they're like, dang, treasure, that's a lot of salt. It don't be a lot of salt when y'all be eating it, though. So this is what your salmon should look like before you actually mix in the butter, the peppers, and the water that's already wrapped around the salmon with your lemon juice and your lime juice. So the acid in the lemon and lime juice is going to kind of break down the onions. It's going to give you a nice, acidic, citrusy, salty, definitely salty because I do like my salt. But it's not unbearable. It's not like, oh, this is too much salt. It's actually just very flavorful. And I really, 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 I, I'm going to say this forever. The peppers just, it, it just makes it a, an extremely even balance. So when you have really good sweet peppers and you have something that's salty, it just, it really, it really, really, really just comes together. Okay. So, ooh, that lemon juice smells so good. And all of the peppers. So after I kind of beat it a little bit and mix it in, you see the seasoning isn't just sitting right on top. You want to mix some of these peppers underneath of your salmon. You want to put some on the top. You want to definitely put some in the side. And this is how you pretty much prepare it. I'm going to add a little bit more lemon juice around the vegetables. To get it that juicy that I really want and you're done that's not even a whole 10 minute prep and your meal is completely finished you have chopped your veggies you have an amazing piece of coho salmon that you are about to place in the oven 375 depending on your oven um, I don't really know the temperature degrees for electric stoves so if you know how to use your electric stove, please, by all means, go accommodating to what it is that you know. I really choose to cook on gas stoves because that's how I learned, and that's just what I know. So you want to cover up your salmon. Make sure that it's nice and closed up tight around all of your edges. And voila, you have delicious salmon and peppers that can go in the oven right now. You want to cook it maybe for about 45 minutes with the top on, and then you can take the top off of it for the remainder 15 minutes on broil so that you can get a nice crispy top. Or you can just maybe do a five-minute broil if you don't really like it too crispy. Some people like their salmon moist and a little... Uh, um, juicy. Um, I personally like mine a little bit more on the dry side. The peppers and the other things are the things that create the juice for me. So it's totally up to you, but this is my recipe on my lemon pepper salmon. And you just create what you want to create and it's going to be amazing. The spinach is of course a very simple, simple thing. You just get you a regular uh, pan in the house and Make sure you clean your bag spinach and you just cook it. Cook it in some butter and garlic and it will be amazing. So this is definitely going to go on the top shelf. It's going to go on the top shelf for 45 minutes on 375. And like I said, after 45 minutes, you want to take off that top. 
and put it on broil for the remainder 15 minutes. You can do five minutes if you don't want it too dark. And then you will be getting started on your spinach. And of course, you know, I always use my trusty, trusty rice cooker. So while that salmon is in the oven, I'm about to prepare my rice cooker and I'm gonna put me some jasmine rice in here and I'm gonna just set it, push the button and it'll beep when it is ready. And then when it, this is ready, that's when I will cook my spinach, which should take a good five minutes. And there you go. You have Fire Food Friday, which consists of our lemon pepper salmon. Let's go ahead and just name them some garlic butter spinach and jasmine rice. I will add a picture for you guys a little bit later. Okay, this is me preparing the spinach. As you can see, we have fresh leaf spinach today. And when you're doing this, you know you cook down your spinach pretty fast. So I'm just preparing this for right now. And you add a little bit of water and a lot of butter. And this is how you get it together. Okay, so this right here is our fresh leaf spinach. As you can see that the raw leaves are definitely fresh. And you just want to clean those, put a little bit of water in there, and butter. You just want to let that simmer down. And as that is simmering, your rice is cooking and your salmon is in the oven. So here is the fresh spinach before it actually starts to cook up. As you can see, all the leaves are still whole. I go ahead and I add my butter, my little bit of water, and all of my seasonings which is the garlic powder, garlic salt, and black pepper. Those are the only seasonings that you see right there, but since we are making some garlic spinach, you can use whole cloves of garlic as well, but if you do not have whole cloves of garlic, garlic powder will do just fine. This is pretty much what you get once it's nice and cooked down. Not that much water. Mm -hmm. The bathroom. Uh -huh. I want everybody, not only do I want you to subscribe, like, and follow me on all of my social media platforms on IG, that's M-Z-T-R-E-A-S-U-R-E-G-E-M-Z. -E -E I am the Yoniologist. I want you to grab my book at Amazon.com or you can grab it on my website, www.treasuregems.com. And not only do I want you to shop my book, shop all of our holistic healing products that go from everything that you need from head to toe internally and for your body.